Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're talking about how to get into good posture and then stay in good posture throughout our swing. We talk about staying over the plate throughout our swing. And we're gonna give you a, a, an implement that you can use, uh, a short bat. If you don't have a short bat, you can just take your normal bat and choke up on it. So I'll show you that in a second. But two really, really good ways to work on this. It's the big problem that I see with, with most, especially youth hitters, but you'll see this all the way up the ranks players coming out of posture as they swing. So let's first break down what good posture is, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what coming out of posture is during our swing, and then we'll talk about how we can utilize a short bat and our normal bat by choking up to work on remaining in good posture throughout the swing. We're also gonna use uh, some Rucket products today to help us out. We've got the heavy duty T right here. We've got the socket net right here. If you wanna check out both products, we use it all the time. Great for small spaces like this right here to get a ton of work in. Click the description box below. There'll be a link down there. You'll be able to get a discount. Okay, so first thing, let's talk about what is posture and what is good posture. So the way that we explain it is, it's basically the angle of your spine. So. If I'm in this position right here, you can see how my spine is directly straight up and down. Most good hitters, elite hitters at, the, at a high level, as they get ready to hit, right? They might not start in that position, but when they get ready to hit and their front foot is about to hit the ground and their brain is about to say go, they're gonna be in a position where their chest gets over the plate, their butt gets out, their spine, instead of being straight up and down, is gonna be like this. Every hitter is different, but most hitters, I'd say, would get somewhere around 25, 30 degrees, somewhere around there. So you can see my butt's out, my chest's over. The cues that we use, we tell our hitters to get their butt back behind their heels. We'll also talk about with players that really struggle, that are always up like this, we'll have them exaggerated. We'll say, you've got a chain on and you've got to feel like that chain is going to be dangling off your neck right here. So I don't want the chain just resting flat on my chest. Again, a little bit of an exaggerated feel for players that really struggle to get into that good position. So the first thing is it's important to get into that good hitting position. The second thing is we have to remain in that good hitting position. So the mistakes that I see are one, the, the, the most obvious is hitters just never get there. They're always just up in this position. So they're going to be really vertical with their spine. They're gonna be here instead of here. So that's the first issue I see. The second issue I see is there, there'll be players that get in the pretty good posture, but then when they go to swing, instead of staying in that posture and staying over the plate, they're going to come up out of that posture. They're gonna to start to lift up. They're gonna to start to pull off the ball. Their front shoulder's gonna to start to open up this way. And so now I went from good posture and I come out of posture. Now what happens when you do that is your swing starts to follow your body. So if I'm coming up and out of posture or if I never get in good posture, most hitters start to swing off of the ball. So their bat exit the hitting zone. For a righty, we'd say that their bat exits left. If it's a lefty, their bat starts to exit right. And we wanna feel like our barrel works through the hitting zone. So in order to work through the hitting zone, you've gotta stay in good posture. You have to get in good posture, and then you have to remain in good posture as you swing all the way through your swing. So really, really simple drills to work on that. The first is just using a short bat. So this is a 29 inch bat. So I typically use a 30, well, I used to use a 34 inch bat. I'm a little older now. So now I swing a 33. You wanna take about, let's say four to five inches off of your normal bat. So we have all these different size bats in the facility. Again, I'm gonna use a 29, which takes about five inches off of my bat. Why would using a short bat help? Well, if you're a hitter that starts to move this way and come out of posture, and now you have a bat that is five inches shorter, you're gonna run out of barrel. So if your barrel already works across the zone because you come up and out of posture or you never get in posture, it's gonna really be magnified because now we talked about how your barrel's not gonna stay through the zone. If I give you five less inches of bat to work with, you are gonna either swing and miss or you are gonna hit everything off the cap of the bat right there. You're never gonna be able to keep your barrel in the sweet spot of your bat through the hitting zone. So without even really needing to think much about what you're doing, this will give you really good feedback. So let me throw another ball on here real quick and let me just demonstrate what it's gonna look like. 
So we're going to get into our stance. Ready to hit. We'll hit it. And I also will have hitters hold their finish. You can see I swung, I stayed in posture, I worked my barrel through the zone, and then I stayed in posture and I held it for a split second. So again, really simple way, without having to really over instruct too much, just give them a short bat. And that will give them the feedback that they need. Now the second thing is the regular bat. So let's say that you don't have a short bat. Well, all you do is you take your normal bat and you just turn it into a short bat by choking up four to five inches. So let me show you what this will look like. So I'm gonna choke up about four to five inches. I've now created a short bat. Get into my stance. Same exact thing. So I swing, I stay over the plate, I hold my finish, and I've just turned my bat into a short bat without having to go and buy one. So two really simple ways, one to get in good posture and two to stay in good posture throughout our swing. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget, go down in the description box, check out the Rucket T and the Socket Net. You'll get a discount down there. That's all we have. We'll talk to you later.